Sawin. Uh, I just wanted to uh, chat with you a little bit today and the special day. Today is the day that you want to uh, build a little altar, get the old pictures out, and let's um, remember and honor our ancestors, those who have gone before us, um, and take a few moments, light a candle for them, and let's remember um, the lessons that they have taught us, be it good or bad. Remember, we're all in this together. We come on, come to this 3D um, dimensional world to learn and create and grow. And all of us are in this together. Everybody. We all have a soul contact with everybody that we talk to or come in contact with or bump into in the hallway. Um, so let's just honor those that who were the closest with us, our family members, our friends, and um, of course our beloved pets. You know, the pets had the hardest job of all. They're here to teach us unconditional love, um, which is something, those of you who read the Dragon Horse books, that's something I talk about, and that's one of the messages um, in, in those two books. So um, let's do that today. Let's, uh, let's uh, take a few moments and remember those um, who helped us on our journey and are across in the other dimension helping and guiding us. Remember, we will all meet again in the end. And, um, and our, um, so what a joyous occasion that will be. So, uh, today I'd like to take a moment to introduce uh, the new book that I'm working on, um, which is titled Candlelight and Cobwebs. And the subtitle of that book would be something like, You're Never Too Old to Learn New Tricks. Um, so this story is present time, it's, um, it's a baby boomer story, it's about characters that are my age, 50, you know, 50 and older, um, and um, it, like I said, it's set in present time, it's a present with some past life stuff going on, paranormal, um, romance, um, some of you asked for a little bit more romance, um, so I've given to you. <laughs> um, and how this transpired is going to be very interesting. Um, and the reason I'm holding this skull here, this is Leonidas. And Leonidas is a very important character in this book. And he's been with the family of this story from the very beginning. Way, 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 way back. And I'm talking about the beginning of Earth. Um, so anyways, um, the heroine of this story, Rosalind, is uh, she lives with her mother uh, well into her late 50s and her mother passes away and they're living on the East Coast. And when her mother passes away, she had no idea the secrets her mother was holding from her. And Rosalind inherits this awesomely beautiful, gigantic estate. Um, and that is in... Um, Colorado, and the setting will be um, Manitou Springs. So this estate, which is called Winter Haven, will be oh, about 15, one, uh, 15, 20 minutes drive out of Man Manitou Springs, Colorado. And uh, those of you who have been there before, you know the haunted history, and I think that might be one of the most haunted little towns of the U.S., and uh, so that will be incorporated into this story. So uh, Rosalind travels to Winterhaven, and I mean, her first experience in stepping on the grand entrance of this estate, she is hit with visions and feelings and deja vus, and um, she just feels like this house has been waiting for her all these years, and um, this house has been in. Um, family for um, generations. So she enters into this house and like I said, uh, there's some past life stuff going on here in the story and uh, we go back to 1918 and into the Roaring Twenties, a very interesting period of time in our history. And uh, the boomers might remember that um, uh, from their history lessons, 1918 was when the Spanish flu hit. And it spread faster than the plague, and it killed probably just as many people. 
um, and it also it, you know, it made it to the United States and even Colorado. And it's an also interesting period because that is when um, spiritualism is still the fad. Uh, people, uh, you know, seances, people are still intrigued by uh, death and dying and is there a beyond, is there an afterlife. So, uh, you know, that's a period when uh, they all want to reconnect with their loved ones that have gone before them. Uh, so that's going to be a part, interesting part of this story. Uh, so how does she learn about the history? Well, she finds this very interesting diary that was well hidden in this mansion. And upon cracking open that diary, she learns about her great-grandmother and the story of her great-grandmother and Sage Tremaine and how they met and um, uh, what that has to do with present day. And uh, she will meet, uh, in present day, she will meet two very interesting women of, I would say, witchy persuasion. And when she meets these two women, I mean, pretty much all hell breaks loose. So, uh, lots of interesting stuff, lots of interesting characters, and of course, how can I write a book without horses, and the magic of horses, and we also have a, a very interesting cat that rambles around in this mansion that has been there forever, and she likes to call him Old Blue Eyes. So, what will this cat have to do with this story? Uh, so, anyways... Um, I'm just excited to uh, finish writing, and I'm only I'm only about a quarter of the way through. Still doing a lot of research, uh, and I just wanted to take today of all days to uh, let you know about this book, and um, and also just to say uh, happy Halloween and happy Samhain, and um, you know really watch how much candy you eat. And especially for people my age, you know, you really feel it the next day. So that's my tip. So anyways, uh, thank you for listening, and we will just talk to you soon. Bye.